Hello there, this is Philip, and in this video I'm going to talk about tutorials, and especially my game's tutorial, but also why I was wrong in so many ways about tutorials in the past. So, first of all, games need tutorials. It's weird, because uh, for most other media, or all other media types, like books or movies, you don't need tutorials, right? It's not like you go into a movie theater and they're like, before you can see Batman 5, you have to watch this short video that teaches you how to watch Batman 5. No, it's just like you watch it, right? And in some ways, uh, that's to be expected, of course, because games are something that you use, right? And uh, it's also like, games are about teaching. But that's for another video, maybe. But anyway, tutorials are needed, especially for some games. The, but the kind of the holy grail of tutorials is not to have a tutorial, right? It, to have a game that explains itself. And as far as I know, like the most famous example of this is a game called Metroid, which I haven't played until yesterday. Uh, but uh, I mean, not the original one. Uh, so I'll, I'll show it here, right? So what, what I mean by uh, not having a tutorial. Um, so this was... I'm pretty sure I, I heard it from several sources that like this was the first game that, that really like made it... Uh, like it was pretty complex, but still didn't try to teach you through like a lot of text, right? This is just an intro, it's, it's just the story, right? But if you start the game, you immediately get thrown into this world, and the thing that game designers love is that, like, nothing is told to you, but the level itself, like, the game itself is made in a way that you are going to, like, you have to learn it, even if you don't try to, right? So, like, imagine you are in this is a very old game, it's probably older than me, maybe. Uh, but but you have a console back at the time, and you're like, okay, this is this cool thing, and then you see the first picture from the game, or the first screen, and you're like, okay, so this is going to be a platformer, right? Just from the looks of it. So it's a known quantity, platformer. You also have your controller with left, right, and two buttons, right? So you try left, right, and oh, okay, so I can do this and the I nothing. Uh, oh, okay, these things will hurt me. And then I also have this button where I can jump, cool, and the other button is shooting. All right, so and also notice that I can go to both directions. So like from the start, I have a. Um, an idea of being like having freedom, right? All right, so I go this way, and immediately it's like, okay, there is this thing that I that I can't fit through, even if I uh, uh, press my down arrow. But okay, I can jump this high. All right, so it teaches me about jumping, and then there's this thing. Oh, and then there's this thing, and then. There's, you can't hear it, but there's like a different music, things stopped, and I learned that, okay, cool, something happened, but I don't know what. I can go this way. Suddenly when I'm jumping, I, I'm rotating like this, which is weird. And also, I can't get here, see? It's like, oh, okay. And so then, sooner or later, I realize, okay, so maybe I, it didn't do anything when I pressed down, but now, oh, I get into like a ball, cool. And so that's that's how it goes, right? Then, uh, okay, then you die. <laughs> so anyway, so this is, this is Metroid. And uh, the, the way that they were able to do this is, first of all, they, they did another platformer. Platformers were known at the time, so it's, it's fine. But second of all, they also only had, you know, this this one controller, uh, and also they, but they had very clever level design, right? So I thought for my game that I would have something similar. I would have like this level at the start 
which would be completely open. Everyone could do whatever they wanted, right? And then, uh, but it would have this, uh, this trainer unit. I'm gonna uh, show you. So like this trainer unit at the start would tell them what to do, right? And uh, then they would just follow its orders and uh, they would have a great time learning, but also they would have all the flexibility in the world, right? Like they could go anywhere, uh, they could just, um, yeah, go somewhere else. So this actually worked well for about like half of the people that I tested the game with. People were like, this wasn't here, the, the clicker wasn't here, right? Uh, so just by following the advice of this, of this other robot, which is here right now, and you're supposed to go after it, uh, just by following this advice, they were able to complete the tutorial mostly, they uh, often died at the very end, uh, my fault, but, uh, but they, they had a blast, right? But then the other half of people just started doing things that I didn't expect they would be doing, and or they were very, like, they didn't want to read, you know, uh, and so they immediately had a very bad experience. And so I wanted to fix this. So this past week I did a lot of improvements, I think it's improvements, to the game so that um, people are able to actually complete the tutorial and hopefully still have fun playing it, right? So I'll show you what, what happened to the people. First, I want to show you what happened to the other half of the people who didn't uh, do anything. So you you could do anything from the start, right? So people started, the, the better case scenario is that the people started just like moving around with their robot, right? And they also started like reading a bunch of stuff here and here, and, and they were like, okay, so what does this do, you know? And then they completely like forgot about this guy going around. And then they were like, well, what's, what's now, what now, right? So that's one thing. The worst uh, thing was that they were able to literally shoot themselves in the food, uh, but not in, in, actual, in actuality, right? So just by looking at this game, this is not like Metroid uh, because just by looking at this game, you don't know what exactly it is, right? Is it clicking that you're supposed to do? Is it going to be like you have to select something and then click? Is it going to be like a real-time strategy? Or is it a more action-y game where you are going to uh, use WSAD um, cursor to, to move, right? And so a lot of people tried that. And the first thing that you try is W. But in this game, and as in many other action RPG games, even though this is not necessarily action RPG, but in many games, W does something, right? Because it's right there for your uh, left hand. So W, in my case, just launches grenades, right? So they would be like, what's what's going on? What, what is this? <laughs> uh, that's still the better scenario. The worst scenario was uh, the, the grenades are thrown or like the missiles uh, go to where your mouse is currently, right? And so like they would have their mouse over their own uh, uh, robot and then they would <laughs> press W and then it would be like, what? They would just either kill themselves or basically kill themselves like I just did now, right? So so I didn't know what to do with this, uh, right? So like, like the only solution that I came up with was just basically like, I forbid, I you can't do uh, the the first five seconds or or so you can't actually do anything. Uh, I mean, I, I just turned it off because I wanted to show you how that works. But if I tried to do it in a nor in the normal game, then it would not. Uh, do anything and so people would be like oh, okay so possibly I need to uh, actually read this guy right and now and then I added these callouts right so this is not strictly necessary right now but it will come in handy I'll, I'll show so now you start going around and you have this uh, double click to dash is not shown with the yellow thing so you kind of have to read but it's not that important. 
And then another thing was Jonah had left click to scan. All right, so that worked actually, although some people did not see the drone. Uh, so I just put a huge arrow here. And uh, the, another thing that is kind of like a, a brain fart uh, for people was that it said left click to scan, but a lot of people right clicked it, which is a completely different thing that you will see a bit later, right? But you left click to scan, it starts scanning, blah, blah, blah. I also, a new improvement to the tutorial is that um, the drone, this drone is unarmed, uh, which will also come in handy. But anyway, and now it says left click it again and hack. Before it said, I'm, I'm just like going through very small things so, so that you understand how how painful it is <laughs> to to find all these like little details that people could go wrong with, right? So in this case, uh, it said left click uh, it again for a context menu, because I want to teach people that this is not just a game where you just shoot around, that you have a context menu for everything that you see, including Amos and, or, you know, or you, but that will not there yet. Uh, and that it's, it's a deep game, right? So, uh, so that was what it said, but people clicked and then Amos says, hack the drones IFF system now, right? But because it said so here and people were like, oh, cool. They immediately started to aim, right? Or just, just some, some of them started to, to hack, but like most of them will, would be just like, oh, cool. And, and they started aiming, which is not what I wanted to teach them, right? So, okay, so I was, um, I'm going to, to do what it says, hack IFC system. The thing that Amos said before, you know, uh, click and hack. So I hack the IFC system and now it teaches me right click on drone to aim, right? And that, thankfully, it's also shown. And another thing, people, and I don't blame them because uh, the in the previous version of the game, that thing was sh static shooting in them because you change the identify friend of four uh, mechanic in the, or like the, the chip in that drone and the drone was armed so what it immediately started shooting at you right so they were immediately under intense pressure and something here told them a uh, right click on drone to aim and they started left clicking not all of them but like i can totally get this that when you're under so much stress you're like Wah! and you start you start left clicking and nothing happens right and i had to watch this as as the game developer and i was like oh my god this is terrible because they got Shreddy, they they were like to to yeah they they were done for basically. So anyway, so I that this is was the main reason why I started uh, showing the actual like the, this. Hopefully, even if you don't read this, you know what to do, right? And you start aiming, and then uh, it also tells you which it didn't before. You can move. Uh, you can move. Although I'm not sure if I if people will actually hear that or see that. You are equipped with a uh, with thing and here it's just like me showing you the, uh, the, the thing that they should be shooting at. Um, and I think, no, 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 actually, and then, then we go elsewhere. Here, yeah, replenish ammo I haven't um, implemented yet. And then you have slow time, which was there before, but people just kept kept pressing the slow button, which made it go into and out of slow time like every frame, which was really weird. So people just stopped. I mean, there was like people learn, but it it felt wrong. So uh, there's now a debounce, and then uh, it says, okay, left click self and deploy turret. Uh, and after that, uh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Something's wrong. Uh, and then, uh, this happens where it's like, uh, some drones start shooting at you. And this is where I'll stop. But, but before that, the, one of the drones just kept being in the, in the, uh, the forest here, right? 
and and that made him invisible to you. And so a lot of people just saw, saw the forest shooting at them and they didn't yet realize what that means, right? Uh, so I just s said, okay, you know what, they'll learn about concealment sooner or later. So I'll just like show them how the dro drone goes out of the forest and then they'll start shooting, right? And then I'm not going to spoil the end of the tutorial, but but uh, that's it. That's that's how that's how it works now. So so yeah. So that that's the tutorial. I think it's like I was wrong because I thought how cool it will be that uh, that the tutorial is so open ended. But half of the people had a terrible time with this, and so that kind of tells you something about how that's not that was not a good approach. And how, you know, in theory, of course, things like that work, but then in practice you realize they don't. Anyway, now that I have a tutorial, I think I am more ready to have some kind of like alpha testing because uh, some, some downloadable thing that I can put somewhere um, and so that people can try the game. So fingers crossed and uh, see you next time. Cheers.